Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Anybody that's new to the channel, my name is Chris, and in this video, we're gonna talk about everybody's favorite tech company, Apple. Now, Apple just released their earnings report, and trust me guys, it blew analysts and investors' expectations out the water. So in this video, I kinda wanna go over what exactly transpired in that earnings call, and what future numbers will Apple actually have in the future and going to year 2021. And also answer some of the major concerns a lot of investors had going into this earnings call whether or not how many products did they sell, whether it was their iPhones or their MacBooks, or how well did they perform over there in China. Those were the big concerns that Apple was having going into the earnings call, especially with COVID happening last year. So in this video, I want to give you guys the most up-to-date information I possibly can. And if you guys do enjoy these videos, please remember you guys subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and smash the like button. So without further ado, guys, let's get on with the video. So Apple stock, ticker symbol AAPL, right now after hours is trading at $137.50. After their earnings, they dropped 3.21%, which is a little surprising knowing that Apple, you know, did meet or surpass expectations in their earnings report or in their earnings call. They have a market cap of $2.39 trillion, which is amazing for a company. As we all know, there's not too many trillion dollar companies out there, and Apple is one of those few you know, out of you pick from, okay? So Apple is one of these companies that you know you buy and hold forever and you just try to keep on buying positions and try to up your position when it comes to Apple stock, okay? So now let's talk about the earnings report. Apple just passed $100 billion in revenue for the first time in one single quarter, okay? Let me repeat that. $100 billion in one single quarter. That is phenomenal. This is the first time Apple has done this, okay? And it was because of iPhones and iPad sales. A lot of people were kind of concerned to how many iPads and, and MacBooks and all these other products were actually going to be sold because of the pandemic. Well, in the earnings report, they did meet expectations and everything went up either 15 to 20%. Apple reports a blowout quarter booking more than $100 billion in revenue for the first time. Apple delivered its largest quarter by revenue of all time. And sales were up 21% year over year. They made $111.4 billion dollars in the first quarter of fiscal year 2021, okay? Now, these are the stats that all of us investors wanted to know, okay? Their EPS revenue, iPhone revenue, service revenue, all these numbers, all right? So bear with me. The earnings per share was $1.68 versus the $1.41 that was estimated. Apple beat the earnings per share. The revenue was $111.44 billion versus the $103.28 billion estimate, up 21% year over year. The iPhone revenue $65.60 billion versus the $59.80 billion estimated 17% up year over year. You can see that their service revenue was up 24% year over year. The other product revenues were also up 29% year over year. Their Mac revenue was up 21% year over year. Their iPad revenue was up 41% year over year. And their gross margin was 39.8% versus the 38% estimated, okay? that these guys are phenomenal numbers, okay? So when it comes to the iPads and their Macs, you can see that it was 21% and 41% respectively because of the pandemic. Everybody was closed into their homes, you know, they had to do homeschooling. So we all kind of knew that the iPad and the Macs were gonna be a really big seller. What kind of did surprise a lot of people was the iPhone sales that were up 17%. Many, many people thinking there wasn't gonna be too much demand for a new upgrade. For example, the new iPhone 12s or the, or the, or the iPhone 12 family because a lot of people are trying to save money because the prices for the phones were a little bit too high but still it was up 70% year over year. Okay, I'm kind of curious to see how well they actually did over there in China. In the earnings call, the CEO Tim Cook stated that Apple could have done a little bit better, that he was happy with the numbers, but he felt that Apple could have done better. He stated taking the stores out of the equation, particularly for iPhones and wearables, there's a drag on sales. Okay, remember because of the pandemic, Apple did have to close the retail stores. Okay, but even then, guys, just imagine like, all this revenue, uh, more than $100 billion in a single quarter, that's, you know, in three months. Just imagine if any other company could do that, that company will be set up, right? Cook said that Apple's total install base for iPhones is over $1 billion, up from the previous data point of $900 million. The total active install base for all Apple products is $1.65 billion. That is incredible, guys. And just imagine how well and how much people love Apple and Apple products. You know, Apple is an ecosystem of different, of a plethora of different things. 
Apple started as a tech company with just with phones. Now they've branched out with many different services. They're into TV, they're into networking, they're into fitness, they're into watches, they're into products, headphones, they're into a whole bunch of different realms. And supposedly they're even trying to do an Apple car, which is incredible. Apple's, gonna, Apple's amazing. So this was the part of Apple's earnings where they were talking about international sales, saying that international sales accounted for 64% of the company's sales, up from 61% in the same quarter last year. Okay, so now China was a really big concern for many people because the demand for China over there in Apple has been declining. But you can see right here, it was up nearly 57% to $21.3 billion. China was strong across the board, okay? okay? One of the big things and one of the big catalysts for Apple was the new 5G phones, okay? The new iPhone 12s were, had 5G incorporated in them, and that was a really big you know, attraction for a lot of people, especially in the Chinese market. So that was a really big thing that Apple released at the perfect time around the pandemic. Okay? Apple also declared a cash dividend of 20 cents per share and said that it had spent over $30 billion in total shareholder return, which includes share buybacks during the quarter. Apple's first quarter typically is the largest of the year and includes critical holiday sales during December. And when it comes to Apple stock, guys, we all know that Apple is one of these great companies that you could buy and hold forever. These are recession-proof stocks. You know, it's a dividend play. It's a growth stock. This company has it all. Okay, right now it's, it's trading $137.50. It went down, you know, 3.21%. No idea why, because it did outperform the market. It did beat every analyst's expectations. For Christ's sake, it made over $100 billion in a quarter, you know? This company is valued at $2.39 trillion. I could easily see this company, guys, within the next couple of years, maybe even hitting $3 trillion, all right? Just imagine, you're gonna be part of history if you're buying into Apple right now, and watch this company grow slowly into a $3 trillion company. That is gonna be phenomenal of a company, okay? My price prediction for this company right now, right now trading $137, I do feel this company is extremely, extremely undervalued. Okay, I know there's a lot of analysts that have a lot of concerns whether or not this growth and this revenue could be sustainable. And maybe they may not be selling $100 billion in revenue, but hey, $95 billion in revenue in every single quarter is still an astounding accomplishment for any sort of company. There are companies that only make $100 million in a year. So if this company can make you know, almost 100 times more than what some companies can make, this company is going to be setting up a whole bunch of stuff, especially that Apple is still trying to produce and still try to play a part in many different areas. Okay, right now they're into they have watches, they have MacBooks, they have iPads, they have phones. They're trying to get into headphones, they're trying to get into the music side. They're doing streaming, they have TV, they have all these different services, and they're trying to produce an Apple car, you know. Everything that Apple is doing, guys, and they're partnering up on a whole bunch of different companies, a whole bunch of different things that they're trying to manipulate and in a way fix to make sure every of all their clients, all their customers are satisfied with Apple. Okay. When Tim Cook said uh, in the in the thing in, in the earnings call that Apple could have done better because of the retail stores being closed, I was shocked. I'm like, this guy just made $111 billion and like the company just made $111 billion and he's still not satisfied. That is crazy. Just imagine if the pandemic number, how much money this company could actually made. It could have probably made a past $130 billion in a single quarter. That is phenomenal. Okay, so my price prediction for Apple moving forward by the end of the year could probably be easily, guys, $200 easily $200. Apple, I do have Apple in my stock portfolio. Apple, I believe, accounts for like 12 to 13% of my portfolio right now. And trust me, guys, it's been doing phenomenal for me, okay? I actually got into Apple at a good price point and I just keep on upping my shares. I keep on building my position because I believe in Apple and Apple is one of these companies for the future. For Christ's sake, we've seen this company grow from a singular iPhone to what it is now. You know, Tim Cook as a CEO has done a phenomenal job when it comes to Apple and he will continue to, to do a phenomenal job. Him and his team will continue to do a phenomenal job moving forward and into the future. I know the video was kind of brief. I know you guys just want to know of whether or not they actually be expectations and whether or not they actually did increase sales in some of the products and what are their future goals. In their earnings call, they didn't really say a specific number. What is the specific goal heading into year 2021? But we all know that Apple is going to outstand us. They're going to do presentations in, in the near future, announcing brand new products, brand new services, brand new something, and brand and, and they're going to be part of a brand new industry that nobody's going to be thinking of. I, trust me, guys, Apple is always going to be doing that. Apple is going to be 
one of these companies that's gonna be here forever, right, guys? Even when my kids, 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 it, it's here, and I'm not here, Apple's still gonna be around. That's how phenomenal a company this is. So if you guys did enjoy the video and do like some content like this, and if you guys want me to keep producing videos like this, please remember to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and smash the like button. And it helps me beat that YouTube algorithm out there. All right, guys, so please take care of yourselves. Please wear your mask, and until next time, guys. Peace out. Have a great day. Love. Yeah. <laughs>